paro paro g paro paro g break it down because you don't know the rest <laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time since we last talked and it's been a long time since without you my friend all i can tell you all about it that i see you again break it down <laughs> I know many of you will say, oh Helga, please don't quit your job. <laughs> but anyway guys, welcome back to my podcast here on YouTube. And you're probably wondering, Helga, what's up with your attire? Well, my friend, as you saw my last video, obviously I was wearing a crown and before I continue on, I would like to shout out to my favorite friend on TikTok, The Black Skull Show, because he is the one who nominated me on TikTok as the queen of controversy. And I thought I like it, even though he thinks that I would react in a negative way but I consider it in a positive way because I realize that you don't even have to attend a beauty pageant to become a Miss Universe or get a title like this. All you have to do is go on TikTok and start talking and then people will crown you as Miss Universe however they want to crown you. But I'm glad for my friend The Black Skull Show for giving me this title and because of him, I now start calling myself the Queen of Controversy. So thank you again my friend The Black Skull Show. You basically just gave me uh, additional ideas of my show here. So thank you again. I know last time I mentioned that I will be talking the beauty standards of the Philippines and today that is actually our topic. What is the beauty standard of the Philippines? And before I start, I would like to say hi, hello to my man Tupac. No, wait a minute. I meant to say Jerome, my man, the average man and plug. Did I just say Tupac? Oh, you know why? Maybe because the first time I glanced at him, I thought Tupac Resurrect. So that's why I said Tupac. <laughs> but anyway, my friend Jerome, thank you for reaching out to me in one of your video. I'm sorry that I could not collaborate with you soon because as I messaged you already, I have a lot of things to do. I have too much on my plate right now, which I cannot make time to collaborate with you sooner so hopefully anytime soon i could make some time to collab with you and i'm actually really really excited and also i i would like to thank all the people who subscribe to my channel and i know that many of you are subscribing to my friend jerome and basically subscribe to my channel after watching the video he posted about me and so again thank you so much Jerome and thank you to all your subscriber who subscribe to my channel honestly guys your support is such a big help for me it's not only gonna help me gain my subscribers or my channel it will help me to inspire myself to create more videos so thank you thank you thank you and so before I start my topic about the beauty standard of the Philippines, today I'm going to answer a couple of questions from my last video I posted. Uh, these two guys asked me two questions that I want to answer. I want to answer one now and I also want to answer later. So this person, Kyle Adams, commented in one of my video he says Helga absolutely love you and what do you do you make me wish for a Filipina wife I have only recently started following you so I am confused what's what is your marital situation can you divulge your personal situation 
If not, I understand. Keep up the good work, my friend, Kyle. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Kyle, for your support. And yes, I will answer a few sentences of your questions. And to answer your question, my friend, sometimes I'm married, and most of the time I have a boyfriend. And I hope that answer your question. And Thank you so much for your support again. I really hope that you will find a good Filipina in the future. So guys, what are we waiting for? Let us start talking about the actual topic here. What is the beauty standard in the Philippines? So today, I'm going to be talking about my experience of growing up in the Philippines. And as you can see, I purposely made my hair like this. This is my natural hair and I will talk to you about it later. Why I made my hair like this because that is part of the topic. So I'm going to talk to you about my childhood and I'm hoping that you will have a deeper understanding about the Filipino culture, about the Filipino people and I also know that not all people will appreciate this content because A. You don't want to understand it B. You refuse to understand it However, if you are an open-minded person, then yes, you will understand this without having hate from your heart towards the Philippines or towards the Filipino people and that is why I'm going to tell you what I've experienced me growing up in the Philippines. So once upon a time, when I was a little girl, I was born with fair skin. As you can see, I have fair skin. But I was also born, well, I'm born with curly hair. I thought I have a curly hair, but according to my fans on TikTok, they mentioned that my hair is actually not curly, it's wavy. So sure, my hair is wavy, but I still consider it curly anyway. So yes, I was born with fair skin and curly hair. However, even though I was born having fair skin and curly hair, I was still bullied. I was bullied many, many times. I was bullied from my classmates, I was bullied from the people, my neighbors, and so basically I've experienced a lot of being bullied in the Philippines. And because I was born with fair skin, guys, people always call calls me Ogis, Ogis, Ogis. So what is Ogis means? Ogis is uh, uh, actually a roaster. It's a type of roaster that is just white white chicken so it's a chicken really but it's white i don't know why they call me ogis but i guess if you have fair skin in the philippines they call you ogis and even if you're a foreigner who goes to the philippines basically they will call you ogis as well yeah i was bullied they call me ogis ogis all the time because of having fair skin and on top of that, they keep calling me kolot, kolot, kolot. What does kolot mean? Kolot is right here. Now I explain to you why I let my hair like this. Because, guys, this is my original hair. This was me a long time ago. I would say, unfortunately, I was born with curly hair. But now, because I'm a totally changed person, I'm going to say, fortunately... I was born with curly hair or wavy hair but then I didn't know about that then, before right that this is beautiful right here anyway let's put that aside for now let's continue on and I never appreciate when people tells me that before and because of that I created insecurity about myself and at some point, I hated myself, guys. I hated the fact that I have curly hair. And I get so jealous when my neighbors or classmates have nice, long, straight hair. And I thought to myself, what is wrong with my hair? 
Um, when I talk about this guy, it actually makes me feel cry because I know that this is already in the past, but at the same time, all the bulliness that I experienced in the past only made me strong. And the reason why it makes me cry is because I know there are still people who are struggling or being bullied in the Philippines for having um, curly hair. Hang on, let me just drink water, okay? I, I basically <laughs> put this water aside just in case I, I cry. Anyway, just a sec. Anyway, I don't want to cry guys, okay? I don't want you to think that I still I'm in pain because of that. No, I I'm actually happy. I'm just happy in so many ways. This is just uh tears of joy, not tears of pain. So anyway, I was bullied many times for having curly hair and again, I hated myself. I hated my hair. Honestly, I hated my hair so much that I, ha I was trying to find a way of how can I make my hair straight? How can I be like those other people, those other girls having... See, I can't stop crying. Like, I can still remember, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. So how can I, I, how can I make my hair straight? How can I be like those other girls who other my neighbors or my classmates, they're always... I'm complimenting them so what I did to hide my hair is I always tie my hair in a ponytail and then sometimes or no most of the time I have this baby hair right here it's curly it would always show show up and like that it would always show up and then when it when that thing happens that's when I get so mad about myself and so I asked my mom to buy me a hairband or buy gel but mind you using gel then it was really expensive so it's hard to afford it so I just asked my mom to buy me a headband to basically pull my hair back so that you my hair is very sleek and you can't see a tiny bit of hair showing like the curl because I don't want getting bullied guys that's the thing that I was uh, that, that was afraid of and so yeah i basically carried that in my whole life but i was bullied in school and i bullied i next thing you know i was bullied in my neighborhood and also again i noticed that even though i have fair skin i just don't understand why they bullied me because i guess i noticed then because of my hair right and i feel like you could never get out from bulliness in the philippines now, I'm not saying that all the people in the Philippines are bully because obviously that's not true. There are many girls out there who are just like me who don't appreciate their hair because, their hair because of what they experience from their classmate and neighbor and the kids especially. And so what happened was I beginning to understand that and having white skin or fair skin, you are considered perfect. Other than that, if you have a slight curly hair, you're not perfect at all. You're basically unattractive. And it created a lot of insecurities about myself. And I just feel like, why are they calling me curly, curly, curly? Even though I have fair skin already, they should find me beautiful. But no, it's not enough. And that's when I realized when I came to the Western world, I realized that no, all the insecurity that I built in myself, those are actually beauty. And all those things disappeared. And that's why my hair is still curly because I am proud of my hair. So anyway, in my school, I just find it that when you have whiter skin, you're either popular or people love you or want you or you tend to have a lot of friends and I don't have much friends growing up guys because maybe because of my appearance right 
Am I beautiful in the Philippines? No, I never felt like I was beautiful in the Philippines because the people made me feel so unattractive. And then as I grow older, teenager, I realize I still feel the same. They still bully me for having curly hair, right? This is, this is during my elementary school and then my high, high school at the same time. And I also noticed that every time I watch TV, I see a lot of these girls having this white skin, white skin is beautiful, oh if you become white you're somehow beautiful and then if you apply for a job normally they look at you if you are if you have whiter skin or if you have straight hair they basically look at your appearance to see if you're acceptable to, to be shown in public because I guess if you are if you having fair skin if you have straight and silky hair they often favoritize you because you are considered pretty in the Philippines people are very open to whatever it's in their mind because they think that it's acceptable to just say things and be frank to each other and that is why a lot of Filipinos like me or Filipinas like me they basically just build confident but really something inside them that it's hurting them yeah a lot of them they they have to build their own confidence and so if you're poor in the Philippines and you have nice silky hair if you have fair skin you are considered beautiful no matter what but if you are poor you have curly hair you have dark skin your status is the very bottom of the barrel it's crazy I know However, if you have dark skin, straight hair, and then you're rich, then yes, people, people will respect you and treat you kindly. You know why? It's at the end of the day, it's about money. It's about your status. Do you have money? Uh, do you have enough money for me to respect you? And that's what I thought in the past. If you're rich, you're considered... You have a lot of friends or people will look up to you and at the end of the day guys it's really all about money right and if you're like me with fair skin curly hair and poor more likely people will not like you I'm sure that a lot of Filipina or Filipino will disagree with me with this but that's okay because that's the kind of thing that they never experience I've experienced this in in the past i've experienced this in my life of oh is my leakage showing up i'm sorry guys the leakage is showing up so if you have money you're rich you have straight hair you're considered god in the philippines but if you have curly hair you have dark skin you're poor you're basically the bottom of the barrel you know that's the kind of mentality that they condition us in the Philippines that having dark skin is unattractive and having whiter skin is beauty and you look rich because again guys in the Philippines people who work in the office people who works as a teacher uh, you know those type of people if you work in inside offices or inside the building or um, anything that there's an AC you're considered middle class and if you own a business where you make a lot of money you are considered rich and if you're someone who works outside under the Sun and then it makes your skin dark you're considered poor and that's what people see you you are poor you're unattractive so basically people judge you based on how you look even if you are rich in the Philippines and if you have dark skin or curly hair a lot of people they tend to take supplements or injection to get their skin whiter and of course they can afford to straighten their hair right and that's how you get respect from people 
Mind you, if you have noticed that in the Philippines, you see a lot of girls with curly hair, they go to the salon to straighten their hair. I will explain to you about that later on. Now, right now, I just want to focus on the important thing. So I remember this girl, she has dark skin, straight hair, but at the same time, she was popular. And I was like, why is she popular? Now I know why, because she is rich in the Philippines. Not really rich, but it's more like middle class. And that made her popular and people want her. And then I looked around, I feel like, why do you not like me? What is wrong with me? Well, it's my hair and my status for being poor, right? And that's why I hated myself for such a long time. And if you want to be an actor or an actress, most of the time they force you or they insist you to have a whiter skin or do something to your skin so that you look like a ghost. I don't know if you have noticed that a lot of movies in the Philippines when an actress play a maid role, they often make their make her skin super dark even though she has whiter skin because again if you're a maid in the Philippines you are dark you have dark skin and that is why when a lot of people from the province especially people from Mindanao and Visayas they often go to Manila to work as a maid and when they come back from Manila they often have whiter skin because when they work in the house, the house has an AC and then they're always inside the house. And when you go abroad like Middle East or anywhere outside the country, you always come back with fairer skin and then it makes you popular. People will see you as like, whoa, look at her, she's so beautiful. No, she is so white, so she's so beautiful. But also in the Philippines, when you have dark, dark skin and you have straight hair, they would also tell you, oh, if she is white or have fairer skin, she would be beautiful. Even though she's already beautiful. And I remember this girl in my elementary school. I find her, now I realize I find her she's not attractive. And back in the day, I thought she was the best looking girl in my classroom because first she has straight hair second she is middle class third she has the best i thought the best fair skin ever and that is why she's so popular and other thing i have a classmate also who has straight hair um, dark skin she's beautiful but then she's still popular you know why because she has money so I guess at the end of the day really it's all about how much money you have so what I noticed guys if you have curly hair like mine or wavy hair and even if you have fair skin and if you're poor you're not that popular and if you have money if you have dark skin if you have straight hair then that's when you are popular and that is why a lot of girls a lot of filipina girls in the philippines are just used to getting bullied especially filipinas like me who went through stuff like what i did and do you remember mikey bostas mikey bostas i don't know if i said it right he was one of the contestant of i think can canada's got talent i think i can't remember and at some point he he makes a lot of this crazy parody videos music and i guess when he went to the philippines when he got really really popular they wanted him to become part of the actor in the Philippines but then at the same time they want to change his skin into fair skin and then I, I remember one of his video he mentioned like why would I want to change my skin when I'm so proud of having uh, moreno skin moreno for men and morena for Filipina 
if you have morena skin in the Philippines, you're either average or an attractive. I don't know if the ch if the Philippines will ever change. I remember in school they used to tell you, oh, be proud of your kayumangi skin, meaning morena skin. Kayumangi is a Tagalog word. I I look around like if they want you to be proud of your morena skin or kayumangi skin, why are they promoting having dark uh, having whiter skin is beautiful and attractive? I feel like Filipinos are not really pushing that way because a lot of Filipinos are Americanized or Westernized and that is why a lot of Filipina would prefer to marry a, a white foreigner because they feel like if I if I'm with a white guy I don't get bullied as much and if I'm with a black man, I will get bullied a lot. And that is why I mentioned this in my last video that back in the day, you don't see a lot of Filipina being married to a black man because they don't want to go through bullying, right? They've been bullied in their whole life. And in, if they're with a black man, they feel like, oh my God, I'm going to get bullied again. My neighbors are gonna be like, oh my god, he married a negro, negro, oh my god, their kid, their kids are gonna be negra or negro, little negra or little negro, oh my god, that's crazy. And that is why many of you here will watch this saying, oh my god, Filipinos are racist. Yeah, if you think that a lot of Filipinos are racist, sure, think that way, but guys, don't think that all Filipinos are like that because obviously a lot of Filipinos have dark dark and darker skin so what do you think they feel about being bullied when they grew up and hence why not a lot of Filipina back in the days you will see that they are married to a black guy because again they're being bullied you are considered poor you're considered unattractive but it, but then again, you have to think that a lot of Filipinos are conditioned to westernize their brain, right? And for many Filipinas who end up being in the Western world, they realize, wow, having dark skin is beautiful. Having curly hair is beautiful. You know why? Because we are being appreciated here in the West compared to the Philippines. We are being bullied there. And people a lot of people in the Philippines makes us feel like we are an attractive but if we are here in the Western world our world is different it's the other way around people want want our wants our skin wants our hair for having curly hair right because a lot of people they love having curly hair they love having wavy hair and that's when I started appreciating myself I started slowly appreciating myself that's when I gained my confidence of like wow those people laugh at me for having curly skin screw them like I'm happy that I have this and there's a reason why I have curly hair you know everything guys there's a reason for everything and I know many of you especially to my Filipina kababayan who's watching this if you have been bullied in the Philippines because you have curly hair and dark skin, I'm going to tell you guys, you are the most valuable person here in the Western world. So, screw those people who are bullying you because, you know, they don't know anything better. And coming from me, I'm going to tell you right now, you guys are beautiful. And again, I wish I do have dark skin because... I realized that dark, having dark skin is, an, is attractive here, but then again, I cannot change my myself, right? This is what God has given to me, and there's a, there is a reason why God gave me this complexion, this face, this hair, because I'm supposed to appreciate it. I know a lot of people don't appreciate themselves because of the insecurities they, they built or they get from people 
that is why you will see a lot of Morena beauty will prefer to marry a white man instead of black men because they don't want to feel embarrassed they don't they already went through all this bulliness in their childhood they don't want to go through it again and you know it hurts it hurts in your heart that your own people are doing that but then again guys i have to remind you not all filipino that are like that there are many filipinos out there who got bullied this is obviously due to how the Spanish colonization condition as that having certain look is beautiful and then if you have dark skin you're considered an attractive and that is why not a lot of you guys will understand our culture many of you will just say you guys are racist you guys are racist and yeah maybe it's true there are racist people in the Philippines I've seen it so for example for us people people who are like me in the philippines i was born unfortunate we basically scold each other or judge and criticize each other oh my god don't don't swim too much in the ocean because you will turn dark especially it's super sunny and hot you will become octopus basically like we're bickering at each other but there's no harm to it it's more like we're judging each other and criticizing each other with humor at the same time it was never i've never experienced that my neighborhood would beat you up because you're black you're dark you have curly hair it was never like that it's just like oh be like this person because you're popular or you're acceptable however the only racism that i can experience or i have seen in the philippines is a lot of rich people most actually most but again not all guys okay not all a lot of them will actually treat you like garbage will actually treat you like shit so if you're a rich person and if you see a guy who's lower than you he has dark skin he's poor if she or he is poor all these rich people they basically beat you up they do beat you up that's when i noticed that a lot of rich people are racist because when they look at you the way you dress up is poor the way your skin is super dark meaning you are poor automatically you're poor so they just look at you based on your hair based on your your color based on your your clothing and then they treat you like garbage and then many of them, many of rich people, they will just uh, beat you up. They will just say, do you know who I am? And then meaning they want you to think, I'm rich. I'm better than you. Therefore, you must worship me. So it's kind of like that. I've seen these a lot. They beat you up because you, because you are poor looking. They're, you're basically beneath them. So this is what I've only seen from from rich people right they think they own you because you know why guys they have car their their clothes are way better than yours their food is way better than yours their um they have a they their skin is better than yours and that's why they don't respect you but when as people who are poor people poor people we just bicker to each other we make jokes like oh my god you're dark you're this but we never beat each other up because we have dark skin we have curly hair it was never like that as as far as far as i can remember and in my experience we don't do that we just scold each other judge each other criticize each other and at the end of the day we forgive each other you know why because we're neighbors we live in the same area whereas rich people in the philippines they have gated house and therefore they're always separate from poor people away from poor people so they think of us poor people they think we're gonna steal especially if you're rich and you see someone with dark skin they automatically think that you you will steal from them that's what a lot of rich people see you as being you being lower than them so that's how rich people are and and that is why and that is why a lot of rich people would 
hesitant would or would never marry someone who's poor and if their kids will marry or in a relationship with poor guy or with dark skinned guy they would say what are you doing are you trying to embarrass our family look he is poor or she is poor you gonna embarrass us and that is why you don't see a lot of rich people married to a foreigner because why would they want to marry a foreigner when they already have everything they already feel appreciated by entire Filipino because they're rich they have fair skin they're basically perfect and for us Morena when we marry a foreigner we feel like we are already rich because they're gonna be like the neighbors especially is like oh my god your babies are gonna look so beautiful for sure they will become the miss universe the next miss universe they will become an actors an actress and so that's what a lot of filipinos mentalities are sure they will say yes opportunity we're gonna be rich yeah but i'm gonna talk about that next time but not now we're talking about color right a lot of rich people in the Philippines they're the one who act like they're superior from everyone and they're the one who treats us or those poor Filipino with disrespect and all the things all the bad words you can think of and does is racism exist in the Philippines yes it does um, it exists to the people who are rich and Again, I'm not going to say that all rich people are like that. It's just what I notice. Most rich people in the Philippines, they look at you as if they can buy your soul. They have the power over you. They can do any bad things towards you with their using their money. However, for the poor people or unfortunate people, they don't hurt each other bro brutally because their skin is dark because they're poor da 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 it, it's different rich people view poor people different but poor people we we do fight we do argue and criticize and judge but it's nothing like hurting each other brutally well there are, there are people who hurt each other in the philippines but not because you have curly hair and dark skin it's just that you are more likely have a higher status if you have whiter skin men will consider you beautiful if you have whiter skin they are more likely to want to marry you because you can have babies who have white lighter skin at the same time and there you have it guys I have been bullied in, in in elementary school I have been bullied in in high school and I have been bullied in my whole life and I didn't know that all those bulliness coming from those people it's actually what made me gain confidence about myself and when I came here in the Western world I beginning to appreciate a lot of dark skin color being attractive and growing up they told me that dark is ugly or unattractive but when I came in the western world my entire world opened up my entire brain opened up thinking like wow that is actually not true black is beauty and mind you again guys I know that you have seen a lot of my TikTok videos me talking about black people or black women and I was being I think attack from black women because of what I said but then again being on TikTok it's really hard to explain properly because of the time you have and people will somehow take you as racist or what are you talking about or basically it makes their face like um excuse me girl but no what i think about being dark is 
actually beautiful. I just feel like having dark skin is the most attractive person. I feel like having dark skin is the most attractive skin in the whole world. And again, guys, we are all beautiful in our own way it's really up to you if you let other people condition you or control you manipulate you or bully you and you basically just have to create your own persona you have to create your own confidence in order to feel good about yourself and accept yourself for being who you are and forget what people think of you and I mentioned earlier that a lot of black women basically just trying to crush me down because I, I don't think they got my message. I understand the experience they experience in, in, in their life. I understand that. In the Philippines, we have our own struggles too, but in terms of actual black people in the western world i know how you've been treated and i was also told that i should not talking about black people or black women at all because i don't know anything and i'm really hoping guys that this video will give you some input or understanding about how philippines is you cannot blame the entire Filipino or entire Philippines because many people are seeing black as an attractive or ugly because at the end of the day not all Filipinos in the Philippines have the same mentality and I'm really hoping that with my podcast here on YouTube it will somehow make you understand or at least we are on the same page of understanding what Filipino is going through and what kind of experience we experience in the Philippines. I mean, everyone has their own struggles, right? Not just Philippines, everyone. All the countries has their own struggle, regardless of what it is. I mean, there's a reason for everything, right? And whatever that reason, guys, we just have to accept it. Because at the end of the day, you will find the reason why that thing happened to you. Only when you ask for it. Only when you ask, it's why, why, why. Always ask the word why. Because if you don't ask why people treat you the way they're treating you, then you will never find the answer. Always ask why, why people are treating you. And then once you start asking why, you must start searching why people treat you like that. Is it their fault or are they just like that? No, you need to learn the history of how this thing started. I'm not gonna say that I'm, a, I'm an expert of everything. I'm still learning, guys. I know many people are bashing me or telling me, oh, you think you're an expert, who do you think you are? I'm just me. I'm just Helga Babushka. I'm trying to express what I felt and what I experienced, what I observed, and what my opinion is. I'm not here to claim I'm, I'm the expert. I'm just sharing what I've experienced and I'm hoping that people will understand. But I also understand that a lot of people don't want to understand and or refuse to understand. And that's okay with me because not all people are the same we are all different and tonight or today i i hope that you have some understanding of how i was brought up of how i felt but don't feel pity for me because i never felt that myself now i used to feel pity for myself like why did god why did god create me like this. I wish I am taller. I wish I have straight, silky hair. I wish I have super white skin. And also, mind you, during my high school days, because I was super duper insecure about myself, I started wearing my... I started wearing pants because I don't want my legs to get uh, dark. And 
because I want people to accept me. I want them to tell me, wow, you're beautiful even though you have curly hair. And it never worked. I never felt like I was beautiful in the Philippines. Maybe a little, but it was never 100% because my curly hair was somehow the hindrance of everything. But now I feel like my curly hair is the highlight of everything. I do, however, straighten it once in a while because it's easier to manage it and my hair gets really frizzy a lot of times and that's why I just straighten it. And I will talk about the straightening situation in the Philippines, why Filipinas straighten their hair and this and that. I will make a, video, a separate video about that next time. And also, I'm gonna make a video one day in response to black women who hates me currently because I know that a lot of people are making videos about me in a bad way. But for me, I don't care. I just want to talk about this more in details of what I felt about it. I didn't, I didn't feel mad or upset or regret because I thought I was just voicing out what I felt, what I, what I think. But not all people think the same, right? People will always have or people will always find a way to get upset with every little things. And that's something that you cannot do anything about it. You just have to understand the situation. And I, should I get scared? I have no idea because people will always filter things that whatever benefits them to make a topic right and of course you know that a lot of my tiktok videos have humor included because i don't want to talk about serious all the time i'm again vo voicing out what's in my head and i can be funny most of the time if i want to Will I continue being the queen of controversy? Sure, because I like it, even though it's not. And a lot of people find it controversy anyway. And there's nothing I can do about that. And I know many of you message me, hey, don't talk a lot about black people this and black people, black women that. I cannot stop it, guys. I can't, I just can't. It's part of what I think. I can't I don't just talk about black people I talk about everything it's part of life you either shut down all your social media and don't have phone at all if you don't want to get angry or be sensitive with things because at the end of the day you're only letting co social media control you sometimes you cannot believe what you see on social media because it's either exaggeration lies or just trying to make a controversial but i guess i am a controversial person so nothing i can do about that but accept it right and that's why i'm started i'm gonna be wearing this all the time if i can anyway guys as i mentioned earlier i will be reading two comments today the next one is don't know a so a black guy asked me are they any taller filipinas like five six and above asking for a friend who is six four and doesn't like short women because he's tired of short and small women saying ow during <laughs> okay my friend yes there are many tall Filipinas in the Philippines but I'm not sure about deep deep thing if you're if you say I'm not sure because as far as I know as I mentioned before which I will make another video separate from this most Filipina women have narrow opening and that is why for them it's a bit of a challenge to have or make love to someone with 
super enormous ding dong. They can't take it guys. It's just painful. I don't know. I think a lot of Filipina just have narrow opening in natural natural way. I don't know. I don't know a lot of Filipina, right? I, I'm just telling you this based on my experience and from what I heard from many Filipina because I do have many friends who are 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. They tell me that they prefer if man thing is just average because apparently it hurts it's not our fault guys you know you just I guess if you really want to do an aggressive boom boom pow just have a separate Monica or a machine that you can do that instead of hurting your or instead of your short Filipina <laughs> will do the ow part <laughs> But again guys, I'm gonna talk about this about the ding dong part, okay? Uh, not right now because I don't want this content to be long. So thank you so much for listening or for being here guys and I'll try my best to answer all your questions here. Maybe sometimes I cannot always answer your question because I'm I don't have time but I will try my very best and if you have any question or if you have any suggestion what what you want me to talk next then yes I will consider that and I know I have a lot of list a long list of what I want to talk about so basically I even though I've already talked about this on YouTube I want to talk I want to start all over again basically talk about our culture and make you understand how our culture works and hopefully you will understand how Filipino minds work so basically I will transfer you what really Filipino people are thinking and what would be the reaction when it comes to certain situation and if you're and if you're someone new to my channel and if you want to learn about Philippines, Filipino culture, how to approach a Filipina, what's the best way to talk to Filipina, how how to court a Filipina, then all your answer is basically here. And at the same time, just ask me question. And you know, the best thing you can do is give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow here and hopefully i can give you more information about the philippines anyway guys thank you so much for being here i will see you next time bye guys Mwah.